Oh, that felt good. I think that's it. If so, that was an amazing level. One of these ellis is probably Vizor, another one being Shadmas. Oh, oh, that's a lot of damage actually. Oh my god, the centaurs started hitting her. This is it, this is it, this is it. It has to be it. Oh, and the music is perfect. Okay, revenge wave. Um, okay. Okay, I handled that pretty well. <laughs> Abe is getting trolled. Oh, Jesus. Oh, the music. Oh! This is so good. Don't die, Jesus. God. Anything, just don't die. Uh, come on. Come on. Please. Let's go. For this one, though, I am kind of sick. So I will be even less energetic, for which I apologize. I would say it's about time to do the festive tree. It's, it says it's not difficult at all. Modifiers, festive joy and easy enemies. The epic world tree music plays. I mean, easy enemies? Sure, the Valkyrie. Uh, I mean, mermaid, I mean, is that really easy enemies? Maybe, maybe easy enemies are seen very low level enemies. Um, okay, that, that's not an easy enemy, excuse me, but that is not an easy enemy. Uh, do I need rage now? Are there two seals? I might be screwed. Yeah, I think I'm dead. There are three seals. I mean, I can, I can give it another shot. That was our reference. Hopefully, at least two people we understand. Most jolly of times. Eh, can argue with that. Okay, here it is. I have some mana for a rage. No. I mean, the units do seem a uh, really low level. Uh, let's see. I think I want a rage now. Let's, yeah. Oh, that was not intended. Uh, perhaps I can just kill the castle straight off. Thank you. I was not about to deal with these seals anyway. Yeah, here are the festive things. I now need four for the comet. Festive comet shot. Comet shot. Let's try the where. Oh, here. I just don't want to get any blue seals. Okay, this is pretty excessive. Uh, I can... Uh, rage. Uh, pop all your way to in the front. Yeah, now's better. I think I will rage and get bigger of in once again. Rage? I mean, just bigger of... It feels worth it. I need to kill these units. Oh, they're not taking a lot of damage, are they? Uh, should have assaulted Viagraph a while ago. Yeah, I, I think I'm dead. Yeah, this was the survive thing. Where are the other levels? Is that it? Is that the entire thing? Do I just replay? You know what, maybe I unlock more levels as I progress through the main game. I don't think I will be getting the festive comet, I want the festive guild first, for more value of course. And it's time for the level 11. Now, the Trojan horse was bugged out. Wait, does he spawn immediately? Oh, it's... Oh, that's not even the boss. <laughs> We've got an Epic War 5 tower. But yeah, the Trojan Horse was bugged, so it was apparently extremely easy. And I still lost to it. Yeah, I, I, I know. But that's why there is another boss level. So I could prove my skills. Bombers? Uh, am I scared of them or not? I need to know this. Um, I am so dead right now. 
We need to rage and to march with Verigraph as well. Now, Simon is actually doing an amazing job. That was definitely not the boss. So I would like my heroes to heal up. Oh, what do I do now? Okay, look at that guy. Now he just attacked Popo. Vigraf, you can heal a bit more. Oh, something fucks up that tiger so well. Uh, just a single mini Diablos, not five. Shouldn't be too much of a big deal. I do want the tower to die. I mean, if the mini Diablos are such a trouble, how am I supposed to face the big Diablos? Okay. Oh, we don't count this. I am sick. So we just don't. Let's give it another shot. I think I want to destroy that tower as soon as possible. Yeah, the tower is really squishy actually. But now I, I do have rage. I will try and micro my engineers actually. I think Popo is ruining everything. Yeah, Popo is the problem. Popo is genuinely the problem. He's ruining my army setup. My backline can't function like that, Popo. Oh great, another mini Diablos. I mean, to be honest, when I was testing, this level was very easy. So this is justified. Now though I can properly assault, I hope. Another mini Diablos. I don't even know what to do about this. The archers are extremely bulky for no reason. Viagraph is getting destroyed. That tiger just obliterated my entire army. Popo is dead. Yeah, I don't know if I can continue this. I don't want to grind at all. My mana is full, I should use it more often actually. Oh wait, 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 oh wait. Wait, my castle is getting obliterated. I haven't even gotten the boss out. Okay Popo, fuck off. I am not going to be dealing with you for now. Simon is a genuine carry. The Valkyries are doing an amazing job. Okay, awaiting their revenge wave. Any seconds now. Um, you know what, Simon can die. Appreciate how slow the Diablos is. Okay, now I just need to defend well. And I will be good to go. They take way too much time to respawn now. The Diablos though. How do I deal with Diablos? He resists projectile. Which is a lot of my setup. Uh, I think Popo is projectile. Yeah, this is kind of hard, you know. Yeah, I'm having a serious skill issue right now. Festive Comet can freeze. Do I need mana? Hell no. The only thing I can buy is Rain of Arrows. This is worthless. Projectile. I was saving a bit too much mana the last run. The main Diabluses do stop spawning after a while. So if I can defend better against them, I can have my heroes not die that much. Popo might just have to die. Let's get Viagraph in. Okay, all of my heroes are alive. Oh, stupid tiger is here again. Okay, I'm just dead. Bro, Popo is such a motherfucker, I wish I had Cassandra right now. Let Simon f***ing attack. Okay. Everybody assault. You know what? Vigraph you can stay at the castle. Popo wait a fucking second before sending their entire army 20 inches deep in me. Stop shooting! Bastard! 
How are you alive? Are there more Diabluses coming? I don't think my heroes died. Maybe Simon once. I don't remember. I, I At this point I don't give a shit about Popo. I give a shit about my other heroes. And Popo is not doing that. I need mana for the revenge wave. There are way too many tigers. Okay, Simon can probably do this on his own. I will wait uh, just a little bit. Now Vigraf can go. Okay, I need to summon the revenge wave. And be careful with my mana. Wait. This sucks. This sucks. Okay, we waste one rage. You know what? Five seconds isn't really a good enough window of time. Okay, okay. Okay. You know what? One rage. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, Simon is carrying. No, that was such a bad timing. I don't know how to feel about this. I can't just ignore Popo. He is actually doing some damage. Um, you think I can micro Simon? Vigro should definitely back up now. Oh my gosh, I hate the tiger so much. Oh, that was a good run. Okay, I'm ready for the revenge wave. Soon enough. And, come on, come on. Oh, right about now. Please. I mean, if you don't feel like sending it, it's fine. Okay. Rage and... Okay. Now, these guys. Get everybody in, everybody in. Oh, do I get Popo in? Fuck the Popo. Uh, Vigorf can chill, Vigorf can chill. Simon is such a strong boy. You know what? Uh, should I leave Popo in? Maybe. But look what this motherfucker does! Bro, Simon actually died single-handedly because of Popo. Simon was doing so great until Popo just decided to push a fucking tiger in his face. I hate this so much. Okay, overlay time. Here I did record with people nearby, so I couldn't really talk alongside playing the actual level. But it's important to see how easily you can lose your push. If you're trying to save up mana and not constantly use a rage or comet, then pushing is really RNG dependent and just genuinely hard and nerve wracking. Here I do pause to talk to the Discord server probably. But just as Simon respawns, I again struggle to push off spawn. I literally can't push through my side of the battlefield. And Simon dies once again. You really want your heroes to stay alive for the entire part before the the revenge wave, just so they could die from Diablos and take as little time as possible to respawn and get going once again. Again struggling to push, genuinely struggling to push. Viagraph almost dies, no never mind Viagraph does die. And here the dreadfully long damaging of the castle begins. I might even have to retreat once again, I don't remember. But yeah, when they do stack up some archers in the back, some paladins, 
the enemy hero and the tiger warrior, it does get very funky. Here with the revenge wave, not the best use of comets actually. You don't want to waste your entire mana on the, the tigers, you actually want to kill the archers, but it was my second or third try on this revenge wave, I don't remember. I, I haven't mastered every single skill I need, and here the video just ends. No Simon, don't die on me now, you mother... This comet is so trash. You know what, I need Vigroof to die so he could respawn before I die. Okay. Freeze. Not even to die. Um, don't kill Simon now. Okay. Uh, this, 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 this. Okay. This, this, this. This, 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 uh, this, this, no, uh, this, 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 uh, which one, I don't know, okay, this, oh, come on, this, Simon should back up, just a little bit, uh, pop up, go back, rage, Literally nothing happened in those 5 seconds. Rage. Rage. Oh god, this will be so close. Rage. Can you not... Oh, I'm just wasting so much mana on useless rages. Oh my gosh, this level is so annoying. He's like 2 fifths of his HP. Okay, everybody. We're onto something here. Okay, Vigraf, you need to heal. Ah, uh, Simon, don't I? Oh, uh, no. Oh, if Vigraf just dies on me right now. No, Simon! I swear this happens every time. Okay, I have 200 mana. Now, I just need to get good. Okay, stop freezing my heroes. Actually, I'm not... I'm, I don't care! Oh, that's great. Okay, get ready to retreat. And... Go. Okay, that was pretty good. I don't know how to defeat the towers. Yes, actually, I will try... I will try the arrows on them. Not really effective. Nothing works on those guys, jeez. This is my best attempt yet, I believe. Um, Rage, Simon, that was not Rage. You see when the plot started going around Simon? Viagraph lost his power. I'm telling you, it's linked. Well, we might get him half HP, but half HP, it's not zero HP. It's quite far from 0 HP actually. That's not even half, I will lose before half. Well, that was a good run. I would say something. Tomorrow is another day. And you thought Overlay Scorpion was done? Well, no, I'm still here. At this point I did kind of surrender. So I started to look around for loopholes. Not really loopholes, but just a way to get some money without replaying the levels. And I stumbled upon Lost Tower, so I gave it a try and here is how it went. The first units that spawn are really easy. You probably realize that it's the special units that we've already encountered. I don't know why there's a yeti, perhaps a big yeti. Most definitely a big yeti actually. But here's the Avlos. We can't beat him on his level, but perhaps we can on Lost Tower. Kara is here, Kara is no longer here. And that engineer, which is genuinely a pain, like, it's, it's an engineer, how does it have so much HP? 
But I still think I would have dealt with the Diablo Sandra Engineer if this guy did not spawn. Like, his crowd control is insane. How am I supposed to get any damage in? And from here, it was kind of obvious that I was not going to be this level. No loopholes, no nothing. I have to be at level 11 purely with my skill. There's also Red Goblin being more of a threat than any other unit that's spawned already. But the Succubus Queen is here just to finish me off. I, I wish. Wait, no. So, the inevitable has come. There is no ways to go around this. I just have to beat it. In game what? That can what? I mean clearly referencing the beast theory but the only thing that's in here aside of the boss is the giant elf. There is not much info I can use other than just the hint I need to kill them ASAP. And while you're watching me pulling this insane micro, I want to tell you about the strategy I used. So, you know, before the revenge wave, you basically just want to kill all giant elves and save 200 mana for the actual revenge wave, where you again blast the archers and likely the tigers. Here though, a um, very interesting strategy I'm using. While I am microing Popo, Simon and my entire backline that he resists by the way, I'm also waiting to get 200 mana. Why is that? Well, if you rage and use all of your comets whilst the rage is active on Diablos, you get some insane damage and that's insane value of your mana. Well, back to live reaction. Guys, this is it. I know you hear me a bit strange right now, but it's important for the micro. I feel like just finishing him off now. Please die. Please die. Diablo is dead. Okay, back to normal audio. Uh, very big problem actually. I need to kill the castle. And for some reason I really struggle with this. Use rage when you need. And everything should be good. Actually don't let Viagra die. I, I prefer to take this really slow. But really safe. You feel me? Uh, now Vigro should help, Simon go back, I feel like I need some comets into play. But don't waste your entire mana. The worst thing about this part is that archers exist and they're really annoying. Big damage, big damage. Vigro into the fight, come on. Please. Don't die now. Big popo damage, come on, come on. Never forget the Simon micro, come on. Popo, please. Please. 
Come on, come on, come on, yes, 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 yes. And just before we read the war, to everybody who told me I have a skill issue in the Discord, I want you to try this level with my setup. There is no chance you're going to beat it unless you're Lulan. Lulan is the only exception. All of you, you're so bad at the game. Okay, sorry, I, I, I didn't mean this. How long did it take me? Okay, so if I go to my videos folder. Uh, let's see. Okay, in gigabytes, just the footage that I've recorded, which is mostly one third of the entire battle. It's 18 gigs without the current footage. 18 gigs, convert that to time plate. I mean, I could have just, okay, two hours, 20 minutes without the winning run. So around seven hours straight. That does not seem right. There are two beacons that I must activate. Simon explained as they traversed the thick jungle. One is in Cassandra's castle in the city level, which will open the bridge to the oasis. And the other is in the volcano in the oasis, which will take us to the slump lands. The paladins surrounding Simon explained that reinforcements were stationed on the other side of the mountain the city level rested atop. Being honest, I couldn't process the story. It was probably dope, but I was just too excited from this win. I should probably buy tigers, but you know what? I'm now emotionally connected to my setup, so unless it's mandatory to change it, I probably won't. Okay, I know it's kind of lame to have the entire video be pretty much just a single level, but I feel like I'm happy with how it turned out. If I add everything else that I've recorded, it will be way too long. And, spoiler, the levels are not so epic as this one, they just get more and more pathetic. I prefer to have this kind of satisfying end on the video. So, I guess I'll be seeing you in the next one.